Anthony Yard has just beaten Nikolic in round one, in round three, sorry. I've filmed this three times now, and I've said round one uh, three times now. It was, it, it was, it was round three. Um, yeah, um, e e easy night's work for Anthony Yard, let's be honest with you. Easy night's work for Anthony Yard. Um, yeah, like, let's be honest, it, it's, Nikolic is basically a no-name, really, like, he's a Serbian world champion, or something like that, they were saying, and that's about it, literally none of us knew who Nikolic was coming into this fight, uh, I, first of all, I don't get why these kind of fights are being made for Yard, like, you know, he, he, he fought a no-name in his previous one before this, I don't see why there is any point in doing that again, but yeah, look, it looks like we're going to get Yard and Bawaxi next. That's the fight that we must see. But yes, on to Anthony Yard's performance. J just did everything right, really did everything he needed to do. Shook with cans up on the inside, was good on the outside as well. Of course he was like, you know, Yard's body work was fantastic. Dropping Nikolic with two massive body shots, I think it was. And yeah, it was just an easy win for him. Just simple stuff from Anthony Yard, like, you know, Clear skill gap between the two. Yard show, showing levels again. Uh, you know, d doing well with that jab. Just, you know, just Yard doing everything right and, you know, setting a statement. Showing that, you know, he needs to be up there with those bigger names now. I mean, yes, I know he lost to Bertha Biev early last year. Then he, and now he's had kind of two warm-up fights, which I don't really think this one was needed. Just going with a hard fight. But look, it looks like we're going to see Boa the Boazzi fight next. We don't need to complain. But, you know, I want, I, I, it would have been better if we saw Yard on this card against a high-level opponent, no. Like, you know, Boatsy did when he fought Aziz last weekend. It would have been better to see Yard up against, you know, a harder opponent. But look, we're going to see a harder fight for him up next, which is going to be good. But, yeah, to, and, you know, look, Yard just did everything right. Yard just simply did everything right. Um, and just showing his brutal power again. Uh, Anthony Yardi, has got 24 knockouts out of his 25 wins. Brutal finisher. Brutal, brutal, brutal finisher. And that was showing tonight. He's a really strong guy as well. You don't want to be messing around with him in the clinches either. Really strong guy. And he's just, he, he's fantastic. Let's be real. We barely got hit with anything today. Really quick. Showing good defense. In and out of there well. And you know, just digging right into that body with some brutal body work today. It was fantastic to see from Anthony Yard. And, you know, he's such a bloody entertaining fighter to watch. He really is an entertaining fighter to watch. And, yeah, just did everything right. And, yeah, round three finish. Just, e e easy stuff for him, to be honest with you. Easy stuff. Uh, fair play to Nikolic, though. He seems like a fairly tough guy. You know, can take big shots. Fair play to him. But, yeah. Honestly, those body shots were absolutely brutal. And, you know, Nikolic was just giving Yard, you know, openings for them. And, you know, Yard's got real good boxing IQ, saw them really well. And, like, Yard did everything right, you know. Apparently, he's been uh, improving a lot on his conditioning and the build-up to this fight, which, you know, is definitely important because, obviously, you know, I think they saw, obviously, when Anthony Yard was up against Berta Biev, I feel like, you know, Yard's conditioning kind of cost him in that fight. The cardio wasn't really there uh, when he fought Berta BF. I mean, you know, look, obviously Berta BF takes a lot out of you anyway. But, you know, I I, I, I feel like it is right that Anthony Yard's improving on his conditioning. And that's certainly what Anthony Yard's going to need, especially against a fighter like Joshua Boazzi. So he's doing all the right things. So that's certainly really good stuff to see from Anthony Yard. And it's a big win for him today. Needed that win. Couldn't afford for any slip-ups at all. And... Yeah, yeah, like barely got hit with anything, dominated uh, all the way up until the stoppage. Um, yeah, good, solid stuff to see from Anthony Yard, making absolutely easy work out of his opponent once again. So, yeah, now we need to see these step-ups now for Anthony Yard. Let's see that Joshua Boazzi fight. That's a really, 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 really fascinating fight because, you know, you've got a solid knockout artist like Anthony Yard. He's going to go in, he's going to try and take Boazzi's head off. But, you know, Boazzi is going to look to box a lot. So I feel like it's a really good and interesting clash of styles. I feel like Boazzi is probably the more skilled guy than Yard. But, again, let's be honest, though. Yard's got a good boxing IQ as well, to be honest with you. And Yard's a big, 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 brutal puncher. And, yeah, like, Boazzi won't want to be on the wrong end of it. I, I think Yard's a stronger guy than 
but at sea, so he's going to be trying to rough him up. Like Yard always, you know, he's always wanting to try and rough his opponents up, especially in the clinches as well. That's what he's going to look to try and do to Joshua Boatsi. It's a real good, interesting fight. It's one that we've got to see next. Otherwise, you know, it's a real big, big disappointment if we don't see Anthony Yard and Boatsi next. Because that's, because, let's be real, Yard and Boatsi is a fight that a lot of us boxing fans have been calling for for a very long time. If this fight doesn't happen, it's disappointing. Uh, uh, and let's hope that we see the fight happen in the UK as well. Hope it happens in England, not Saudi Arabia. Anyway, get on this video. Thanks for watching the video. Okay, I'll speak to you next one. Thanks for watching. Peace.